Hello, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Tech Talk Tuesday. My name is Brian Mursky, and I am the owner of Veranda Technologies. We're here in Brick Township, and we serve as Monmouth, Ocean, and the surrounding counties. So this week, we're going to talk about what to do with your old computer and technology stuff, uh, which I'm going to drag out of the way because it's awkward here in front of the camera. But we all have it. We have that pile, right, of old computers, printers, monitors, cables, and we don't know what to do with it. Uh, that has changed drastically, the answer to that question, and I wanted to spend a few minutes, uh, this will probably be a short video this week, but I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about your options. Um, so we all have it, right? We've got piles of electronics. Now, if you're gonna throw out any computers or printers, you wanna remove any hard drives that are in them first. So this pile, believe it or not, I have right here in front of me, about 16 or 18 hard drives that belong in uh, belonged in computers that we've taken back from clients. I never get rid of the hard drives. I actually store them pretty much indefinitely for people and I'll need to find a solution for that at some point too, uh, but just as a service so I know that the data isn't getting disposed of uh, and able to be recovered at any point just for confidentiality purposes for my clients. But aside from the hard drives, Right, so you either have a basement full or a closet at your office so under somebody's desk uh, that they're kicking all the time. You want to get rid of it. <coughs> it used to be easy. Most townships had uh, an e-recycling or electronics recycling option. So what happened for a long time is, till about three or four years ago, electronics recyclers, companies, wanted this stuff. Because what they do is they actually burn it down and they they recover all of the gold, uh, aluminum, copper, all the uh, important, uh, some magnesium in some of these parts, and they recover the uh, rare earth metals when they melt everything down. And there's some value in that. There's actually a, you know trace amounts of gold in a lot of these items, which for one hard drive or one computer would be almost nothing. But when you add it up, it becomes you know good money. So for a long time, what happened was these companies would bring these large shipping containers, right, your big cargo bins, uh, and they would give them to townships, and they would ask the townships to implement an electronics recycling program. We had one in brick, um, an e-recycling program. I, as the resident, would bring my stuff, uh, or as a business, would bring my stuff to the recycling center, put it in the bin, and then the township would receive a check every time those bins were picked up. So making up a number, let's say it was $800 per bin, right? Might have been $500 per bin. Depends on the company, the size of the bin, obviously. How often they need to make a trip, depending on the size of the town and how much they would recover. Those companies were paying, though, because they knew that what they could boil that product down to effectively was money. And they knew they'd make more. As electronics have uh, miniaturized, We've, you know, everything's getting smaller, right? Cell phones, computers, DVD players, television sets. Well, TVs are getting bigger, but thinner. There's actually less electronics in them. The motherboards are, are smaller. The circuits are smaller. Their recovery cost isn't nearly as great. So a few years ago, what many of these e-recycling companies started to do is say, well, we're not going to pay you every time we pick up a bin, but we will still pick up the bin. We won't charge you. So we'll leave you with the container, you have your residents or your businesses bring in their stuff, and we're not going to charge you to pick it up. Very recently, uh, probably about six or eight months ago, most of the towns in my county, uh, in Ocean County, started receiving an invoice, a bill, for picking those up. So now they want $400, $500, $600 from the town for the privilege of picking those containers up because they're just, they, they either claim they're making less money or they're actually making less money. In any event, they're not only not paying, but they're not picking it up for free. So the townships now have a choice to make. In my town, we were filling the containers up so quickly, you know, they would need to get these every couple weeks. It has become cost ineffective for my township to provide the e-recycling program. So they had to make a determination do we want to continue spending the money for the town? So we've canceled the program, uh, as have several other towns in the area. Uh, if you're a Tom's River resident, we have a lot of fans and friends and colleagues in Tom's River. 
you guys have canceled the program and last I heard as of October have restarted it. I don't know when that is effective, so don't go running to your recycling center and bring stuff down. So what do you do with it? It's under a desk, it's in a closet, and <clears throat> you have to get rid of it uh, or you have to keep it. There are uh, most county facilities, I know that my county, Ocean County, will still take the stuff. Now, I have to bring it farther than I would to dispose of it in brick, so there's a cost to me. At the moment, they're not charging me to bring it there, so I can actually bring it to the township, no, I'm sorry, to the county, at no cost to me. There is a place closer to me, a, a recycling type facility not run by a county or town. They will take it for a cost. So what they do is they, they scale you on the way in, you drive your car, truck, SUV, whatever, onto a, um, a weight platform, you know, a scale. They weigh your vehicle, you dump what you have to into the containers and bins there, and then on your way out they weigh you again. And the difference in weight, um, there's a, a cost, you know, $12 or $14 per thousand pounds, and they charge you for what you've dropped off. So it's nominal, it's not terribly expensive, but for somebody like me, we have clients giving us old stuff all of the time. You know, can you get rid of this for us? It does add up in cost. So you can look, if your township doesn't take it, check with your county. If your county doesn't take it, um, you can check with your local chamber of commerce. You can check with uh, other local large businesses that may, uh, that you think might have a need to dispose of that sort of thing. They might be able to tell you where to go. Uh, you could just go online and, and do a Google search for electronics recycling near me, find some, some places locally. Again, you may have to pay a little bit. Or the um, really traumatic downside to all of this is you can, if a town doesn't offer electronics recycling, your alternative, uh, your easy alternative is to throw it in with trash. Now, I hate that idea. I don't like doing that. I have done it. I would prefer driving across town and bringing it to the county because I know at least then it's being recycled properly but that's not always an option and it is uh, legitimately farther for me to get there particularly with small load you know I'm getting two or three things at a time and I can't store them in my house and build them up till I have 50 because then I'm unloading and loading it's you know the time is considerable so um, you can Again, check with your town, check with your county. If you don't have programs, you are allowed to put it into your, uh, you know, generally if they don't have a program for picking it up, they'll allow you to put it into your uh, household or business garbage <coughs> and uh, dispose of it that way. We just don't like to see that happen, obviously. If you have any specific questions about your town and you want to reach out to us, we're more than happy to help. You can always reach me on my cell, 732-743-5772 or helpdesk at verandatech.com. That's helpdesk at V-E-R-A-N-D-A-T-E-C-H.com. Otherwise, happy Halloween. Have a wonderful week, and we will see you next week on Tech Talk Tuesday.